so I usually don't vlog on Sundays, but I was on my walk and I looked on the ground to the right and saw a little finch that was like breathing super hard and just like, I don't know what happened. It doesn't look like it has any damage on it, but of course I picked it up and put it in my pocket, brought it home and now I'm about to take him out of my pocket and put him in here. I just had this cage in the garage and I'm gonna see if he's okay. Um, I didn't wanna do this inside because I didn't want him to get loose. He's literally in my pocket. So let's see how he is. Hi, sweetie. He doesn't look so good. Hi, my honey. Can you hold on to a branch? Oh, baby. outfit right here it's a uh, sorry it's kind of let me there we go it's a little vest oh that's cute little, and then look at these cute little shoes oh and then here's another pair i love oh here's another that's outfit cute. i forgot to look at these cute little shoes oh my gosh those are so cute ah oh, those are adorable and then the one that just made me think of you was this one right here. Oh my gosh. Aww. Oh, so yeah. That's cute. Oh, those are so cute. I love those. I hope she, that she's good with stuff on her head because I want to put everything on her head. Yeah, I hope so too. You were not. I, I know. Oh my gosh, it looks like you're starting up a store over there, Mom. <laughs> well, you're gonna, this is the kind of stuff you're going to need a lot of. Um, time of the baby shower. So. Yeah. Well, thank yeah. you. That's really nice. Yeah, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Uh, so I haven't gone shopping I, at all yet. I haven't found anything. Well, I looked at Target a couple times and Babies R Us, but I just didn't like anything that they had there. I am headed out to go meet my friend Teresa right now for her birthday. I'm gonna stop by Home Depot really quick because I want to buy her like a cute little plant. She loves plants. Today is good so far. I mean, uh, the finch that I found on my walk unfortunately passed away, which was really sad, but I kind of like thought that was gonna happen after coming back, you know, like 20 minutes after putting him in the cage and realizing that he hadn't moved to a branch at all. So that's such a bummer. Um, but hopefully he didn't suffer too much. It's just, Ugh, I hate when animals pass. It's just the worst. Chet's not doing any better, speaking of animals. Um, she weighs about the same, and I, I don't I don't know right now. But um, I got a workout in today. That was good. And I just ate some beets and avocado as a little snack. And, uh, yeah, I'm heading down to La Jolla. It's crazy to me that... This is, well, I guess it's 40 miles away. Okay, I was gonna say, I can't believe this is taking me so long to get down there. It's gonna take like 50 minutes to get down there. I've gotta stop at Home Depot, like I said though, I gotta pick up a plant for Teresa for her birthday. We didn't plan this literally until like yesterday, which is why I'm so disorganized. But, you know, doing what I can. I took an outfit photo today too. I feel like I got a lot done, <laughs> so. We're going to this place called like Dolce, uh, La Dolce Vita or something like that in La Jolla. It's like an Italian restaurant. So I've never been there, but I do really like me some good Italian food. Although I don't like red sauce. It has to be like cream or white, but the good restaurants have a mixture of everything on their menu. So I'm excited. How cute is this? It's got like the little stuff in there little container, little hot tip. Um, Home Depot has like really cute little like potted plants now. This one was $10 and this one was $21.98, but like that is so freaking cute. So I'm gonna let her pick and then um, I'm thinking she's gonna pick this one. So then I'll take this little guy home. I have a big one of these in Nashville. I love these. So happy birthday! Thank you. Where the fuck you got lashes on on there still? Bro, on the go. 
<laughs> you never know. Those have been there since the last time I saw you. I know. <laughs> hey guys, I wanted to give you an update on Chet. She went back up to 5.28 pounds front on the 17th versus the 13th she was 4.03 Dude, you guys look at this. There's like kind of a countertop. And this is like, <laughs> this fridge column is freaking massive. That, that's gonna be epic. So that side's Nick's with his drinks and this is for my stuff. And then there's some drywall going up on these little pony walls. And I think he's gonna be working on the bar area, but it's pretty freaking awesome. I'm about to leave in a few minutes. I booked myself a massage. Nick got me a massage at like a nearby like hotel in Oceanside for Christmas. So I'm taking my ass there today to go get a massage. I'm gonna leave in a few minutes here. I'm like so freaking excited to get a massage. <laughs> um, I really need to call the chiropractor too uh, because it turns out you can get adjusted when you're pregnant and I need it so badly. So I have been taking care of a few of the animals this morning um and now i'm gonna head off to go do that <sighs> i'm gonna try and drink a lot of water today but like oh my gosh my back i can't wait to have a massage i'm so excited <laughs> I'm so hungry. <laughs> the massage was awesome. Mm. I need to do that like every other week. Um, look at the cabinets behind me, you guys. Look at that. There's like cabinets and like kind of a countertop. It's insane. Back to the massage though. So apparently I put the wrong day in my calendar and I showed up and they're like, yeah, you're not on the schedule. I'm like, oh fuck, pregnancy brain at it again. But I do this when I'm not even pregnant. So that's not an excuse for me. I'm like, is it by chance tomorrow? And she's like, yeah, but we have someone available. So um, thankfully I was able to get in there, get a massage, that was good. Oh, look at This shirt is a maternity shirt. And it's actually long enough. So I like this shirt, super comfy. Then when I got into the massage, so I had to pee really bad. I went to the room to take a shower, like to rinse off. Cause I haven't, I hadn't showered today. And I was like, oh, I'm not going to do that. Just poor lady. Like I need to shower first. So I showered and then I realized that I left my towel in my locker. So I grabbed like those thin, like small floor mats and I just like dried off with that. It's been a day, it's been a day. Oh my gosh, you guys, check this out. Okay, I'm about to leave to run some errands, but I had to show you before I left. Our island piece is like on there. Look at this, this is the most finished we've seen this so far. So that's our island tile right there. And then this is the tile that's going behind the bar and in the pantry to give it a little bit of dimension. And I was kind of thinking that because this design is so light on light that it won't clash too much with the islands. Let's, I really hope I'm right. <laughs> oh, I just left to go run errands. I was trying to go to the camera store and I left to go do that. And then I was gonna pick Nick up and he missed his connecting flight because of a delay. So now he's not getting in until 9 p.m. And I've got this makeup all over my face. <laughs> so, um, I just picked up the mail. I have quite a few packages here. Oh, it's from one of you guys. That's so nice. 
nice. I stalked your registry after you posted your Q&A video. Haha, ha, congrats on the little one. I don't have kids yet, but my friends rave about this. From Amy B. That is so sweet. I did not expect any of you to grab anything off my registry. That's not why I put it out there, but that is so sweet. Oh, this is the um, Haka breast um, pump. I heard that this is really awesome for like, I, I didn't know this, but apparently when your baby's, uh, I almost said milking, but breastfeeding on one of your boobs, the other one leaks. And so people put this on there to catch the milk. So it's not just like wasted, which is great because as we know, people need milk. Um, so that is really, really awesome. <laughs> I love that. Thank you so much, Amy. That's so sweet. I wonder if that's what the rest of these Amazon packages are because I don't have Amazon packages delivered to my mail service. Uh, that is not why I put the registry on that Q and A you guys. <laughs> I put it on there so that you guys can get ideas from it. And it looks like a couple of you actually bought stuff from it. Oh, nice. I was just talking to someone about this the other day. There's no note in here, so I don't know who this is from, but I did not purchase it. This is from Freedom Mom. It's the upside down Perry bottle. So basically, um, this is to help you like wash yourself down there, like after you go pee and stuff. So you don't have to wipe toilet paper, I think, if you have stitches and stuff. Um, it's designed to make postpartum healing cleaner and easier. No hand in the toilet required pressure on the C-section soreness. Think, think, think bidet for your vajay. <laughs> now it's the, now it's, now that's magic. <laughs> I like magic. Thank you so much. Um, I don't know who sent this to me. There's no note inside, but that was really, really, really nice. This is so exciting. These are like the first things that I've like gotten for the baby and for me. Thank you. That was really, really thoughtful, you guys. And you did not have to do this. I've got two pairs of shoes left in here. Let's see what I got. I honestly don't even remember. I, I thought these were really cute, but the blues are a bit, I got a size nine. Okay, I, I don't wanna bore you guys with like too many packages, so I'm not gonna open all these, but I did wanna open this one. This is from Blanky, and I think, I think there's some maternity leggings in here, please. Six pound, five ounce, baby Jesus, be some frickin' maternity, maternity pants in here. They were nice. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff in here. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, they offered to send me some stuff, so I'm so freaking excited. Thank you, Blanky, so much for sending this to me. I'm so stoked. This is a nursing bra. Um, look how thick that is on the back, too. I don't know if you can see all the notches. I really love that. I'm so flipping excited, dude. Oh. <laughs> it also comes down right here so you can nurse easily. Do you hear it? Nick's home. I slept in this morning. We're gonna go pick up some mail in the Bronco. I didn't bring sunglasses, did you? Oh, you have some on your head. No, you're driving. You can take off. I might have some in here. You got, you probably got extras in your, in your car. I do. Are those cat prints on my hood? Oh my God. There are cat prints on the hood. That cat is not allowed in this car. Showing no regret. Close your eyes to hide your lies. Roll the dice. You got me tiptoeing around you like you made a glass. Got an invincible fan. Look at this thing. Where did it come from? Like, I swear, like, it was kind of there, and I was like, oh, I don't know if I've popped, and now it's like, oh my goodness, hello. <laughs> this is 25 and a half weeks. Not a whole lot happened today, which is why I didn't really vlog. We had uh, Jimmy working on the cabinets behind me, and I just burnt my tongue when I was eating my food and it's like the worst, like it hurts now and I'm worried I'm not gonna be able to taste anything tomorrow. <laughs> um, speaking of not being able to taste, so apparently I had COVID two weeks ago. 
Um, Nick had COVID. We thought his test was negative, but apparently read it wrong. Uh, he did have COVID when he was sick a few weeks ago. And then I got sick um, and I had COVID as well. So I know somebody was asking me about that and like about like COVID and pregnancy. And um, honestly, it was like really gnarly for a day. Like I felt like really not well. And I actually, it took a day after that. Like, so the next day, um, the one day I had it like 24 hours where it felt like my like skin and my muscles were just gonna fall off my bones because they were just so achy and sore. Um, and then I had a really, like really bad headache. And that was kind of like my only, symptoms and then the next day i felt almost totally better two days later i had a little bit of a, like a cough that i didn't have the first 24 hours and then i had um i lost my taste for about four days about two days after i was all better so it was kind of interesting so yeah not losing losing my taste was like not not fun <laughs> like not fun at all um but we got some more work done in the kitchen. He put the wood up on the second island, which looks really great. Um, I had a really rough day yesterday. Um, I will have probably posted about this on my animal Instagram by the time you're seeing this, but my bullfrog Chet passed away and I've been trying really hard not to cry and be like super emotional, even though I am because I just, this is the third animal I've lost in the past month. And, <clears throat> and I just don't want those feelings to affect my child because she can feel everything that I'm feeling and I am trying so hard. So um, I'm gonna try not to cry, but um, the one thing is like, I really did everything I could have possibly done you know, like her, just with her husbandry, her life, her treatment, once I found out she was sick, like there's nothing more I could have done. So, you know, just stuff like that happens sometimes. And it's really hard to keep exotics. And, you know, it, it comes with the heart ache of losing them when you do. And it's sad. She was four years old. And a lot of times bullfrogs will live up to 20 years. So I was really, really upset and I still am. She was one of my favorite pets. Just kind of did a fucking, oh, she's putting her paw on my arm. Thank you, sweet girl. Um, I just called uh, a pet store near my house and I was like, hey, this is a crazy um, thing, but do you guys have any pixie frogs uh, in? Cause a pixie frog is the same as an African bullfrog. And he went and checked and they have one, one baby that's this Big, and that's how big Chet was when I got her. And um, I was like, is there any way I could pay for that little guy over the phone? And so I did. So I'm going to get her little, his, her cage ready tomorrow morning. And I'm going to film that for my animal channel. And um, a lot of people might think that's really soon. But for me, <clears throat> that was one of the coolest pets I got to have. Um. Thank you, sweet girl. I know I'm crying, I'm sorry. Um, and I don't wanna waste any time not having one. So I get to start a new journey with a new little bullfrog. And as sad as it is that I lost Chad, I hope she's in heaven having an amazing time. <laughs> Look at her paw. I'm okay, sweet girl, thank you. Um, <laughs> I know you're trying to comfort me, thank you. So I'm excited to go pick this little guy up. And honestly, it's gonna help take my mind off of Chet. Not that I don't want to think about her, but it's so sad for me that, um, I just don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to dwell on it right now. You know, I want to remember the happy stuff and not be sad right now. All I am is sad. Headed out. I've got some snacks. These are so freaking good. Usually I don't like the super chewy ones, but these ones for some reason taste really good, even though they are very chewy. Pine nuts and prunes. I was watching Built to Birth last night. Um, it's a course that you pay and it's just about all about birth, all about pregnancy. And they were kind of, she was kind of talking about nuts and like the different like things like choline and folate that you need for your baby. Um, so that's why I've got this like good array of stuff. So I have the longest list of to-dos today. 
and what I'm doing right now to try and get out of the way kind of now that it's morning right now is I'm taking my Sony a7R2 to a camera store. This is a camera that actually my housekeeper knocked over right when I moved to Nashville and broke, um, which is why I wasn't uploading videos for a minute on top of a lot of other stuff. But I bought the new one because I was like, fuck it, I need a new camera anyway. Got this one repaired though. Um, and I'm thinking about switching to this one for the vlog camera. It's so much heavier and stuff, but I think the quality will be a lot better. Do you guys even care about that or is this good? Like, just let me know. Um, I also would really like to be able to take really close up photos of like my animals and like their scales, like my chameleon scales, like their eyes, just like really cool parts of animals. Um, and for like my animal Instagram and all that. And then also I'd like to be able to take better outfit pictures because currently I'm taking them with my phone. And as good as that camera is, it's honestly not very sharp um, for full body pictures. So driving 40 minutes to go do this. Hopefully there is a Michaels nearby so that I can buy a planner because it's already the end of January and I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I freaking hate digital like calendars in my phone. Like that's why I showed up at the spa place on the wrong day because I accidentally like click a button and don't realize or I'm in the wrong month and I don't even realize that I'm in the wrong month. And then I schedule something and then I show up there and I'm like, effort and I do that a lot <laughs> it's not but it, that's why I like paper planners so I'm hoping to find a big happy planner that is like to my liking Michaels always has great coupons so you can get them there for pretty cheap and I tonight I just want to watch Joe Millionaire and like plan my whole next few months out so that's that's the game plan we made it let's see what I'd like to not get super close because most of these animals like don't enjoy a camera in their face it spooks them yeah okay. um so i'd like to be about three feet away two feet away three feet away something like that all right found them i need the big one let's see i just put this stupid thing on there you can't see them let's see okay i'm gonna need two hands for this but um that one's cute so this is the vertical, you have the whole month. Then you have these. This is dashboard where you have the whole month. And then this stuff and you can go in day by day. See, Monday, Tuesday, I really actually like this. I think this would be a lot more useful to see specific details and lines because I can't write straight. <laughs> these are pretty much my favorite organizational things and they're so cheap, 99 cents. I love these, I use them for all of my little tiny hair stuff and like all my animal stuff. Freaking awesome. These I think I put my like crusty gecko food in. You can put little brats in here, like so nice. Back in Oceanside now, I'm headed to the same place that I purchased Chet from. And I remember it like it was yesterday. It was like four years ago. And she was so tiny that she fit in a little tiny condiment container. It took me a little bit yesterday to find out. <laughs> yeah. There he is. Look, look at you. You're like the cutest little thing ever. <laughs> so pudgy. So cute. Did mama get a treat for you? What's this? Is it a tree for the pipey? She's like, I'm so over your baby talk. Woman, just give me my treats. Okay, you gotta come here. Oh, that's a good girl. Look, she's, why aren't you sitting? Sit. Good boy. Oh, yummy. I'm gonna get you a little freeze dried treat. Let's go in the garage and get that, okay? I think I look crazy with this lipstick on. I think it's too late for me. <laughs> look how crazy no. I look. No. No. Vlog your outfit. This is so cute. Look at you. I'm like from Euphoria. I can't believe you just that just got a like massage. Like you look so good. It's part of extensions. <laughs> you have amazing hair without them. No. Um, yes, you fucking oh, do. Okay, go under there. We just got a massage. Feels so good. Sunny spa in Oceanside. Check it out. They're freaking awesome. Um, now we're going to dinner, and I think I'm gonna have to wipe this lipstick off because I feel funny. <laughs> This is a little, why does it look so different on me than you? Oh, you have dark lip liner, maybe. Yeah. 
see you, baby. Shaking that ass. <laughs> what you doing back there? Looking at your butt. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Oh, the sky. O side. Oh. I love you. You ain't your favorite daddy. Yeah, exactly. I don't know if I've ever had it. I worked in a nightclub where a long time ago where this used to like illuminate. So cheesy. Like, you, did you come out with like? Uh, I remember that. They had yeah. like a glow in the dark label. Yes, while. exactly. Yeah. I worked at a really lame club in Hollywood. <laughs> a long eons ago. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks, I'm busy at show. Cheers. Um, happy birthday, happy baby, happy my birthday yeah. also, Your happy birthday. new year, happy Easter, happy Hanukkah, <laughs> happy all the shit that you fucking missed because you haven't seen me for like nine months. I'm sorry. I love you. Love you. <laughs> so here we have our next normalized beet. Uh, right inside is a beet infused with a bit of um, El Hasanto oil to get the natural flavors of the corn as well as the beet itself. It pairs really well with our uh, creamy goat cheese on the bottom. That's our kvass, or sorry, our pork. We have a bit of kvass on the outside. Thank you for your my dessert. I am about to go get my nails done. I can't believe they've lasted this long, to be honest with you. Like, they like are doing really well. <laughs> so I'm pretty impressed, but they definitely need to get done before something bad happens and I like lose an entire like nail. <laughs> I slept in pretty good. There's actually an earthquake this morning and it started and I was like, Oh shit, like just paying attention to see like, was it gonna go away or was it gonna get worse? And it got worse, so I got my ass up off the bed so fast and got into a doorway. Is that like the latest of what you're supposed to do when there's an earthquake? Because I still just don't really know. Um, <laughs> I think so. My first instinct really was to go outside and I know they say not to do that because of trees and stuff like that, but there's really like no trees like in my backyard really. So like what else would have fallen on me? I don't know. Anyways, just got home, ate some food, got my nails done. Look how cute. The picture that I showed her was like more of like a, like a light chartreuse shade, but um, she didn't have that color. So did the pink instead and I like it. It looks really good. She does an awesome job. What's up with the lighting? Usually this camera will adjust. There you go. <laughs> I just ate so much food and my stomach's even bigger than normal. <laughs> um, I feel like I was gonna tell you guys something else, but I do need to film my 26 week update right now. I'm doing like a video diary of that and I'll put it all together at the end of my pregnancy. It's gonna be a very long one though. I also need to edit this vlog, so um, I'm gonna let you guys go. Thanks for watching and we will see you in next week's vlog.